Hey guys, welcome back. So in this give video, I'll give you my final thoughts on this particular fragrance here. This is called um, Hermes uh, Belle Ami Vetiver. So I've been wearing this for uh, for some time now, for one or two weeks, I think. And I've yeah, I've I've, I've understood how how it works on me. So I just wanted to give you like. Uh, an idea about what it smells like so initially when I uh, in the in, in in my unboxing video I, I I mentioned that this doesn't smell like vetiver at all which is which is yeah which is uh, I, I still uh, feel that way not completely though so what happens so okay so before we jump into that let's uh, look at this i took this all of this information from uh, fragrantica all this uh, note breakdown and features and whatnot just to uh, put everything in in a, on on one uh, uh, slide here so the fragrance is by Hermes and uh, the perfumer is uh, Jean-Claude Elena and it, it it has a bunch of notes as per Fragrantica. Uh, so you have Russian leather, vetiver, elamai and whatnot. So what uh, I'll, I'll, I, so in my videos I just um, tried to give uh, my viewers like like uh, like a rough idea about like to 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 uh, to someone who's not into fragrances who like like anyone would understand not 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 uh, yeah like just like any layman would understand so uh, what exactly does it smell like it it smells um, so in the first few hours, this is what I smell. So I smell vanilla and a leather. So this this goes on for about I don't know uh, two three hours I would say, uh, and that is all I smell. I am very I'm, I'm, I'm I I'm not getting it until like the the, the far dry down which I'll come to. Maybe there is vetiver, but vetiver is way in the background, like for the first few hours. What what I smell for the first few hours is 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 a very I don't know what is this obsession with the French perfumers and then vanilla. They pretty much every fragrance that I buy, they all have vanilla in it, uh, and and I've become a bit tired of vanilla for for honestly uh, because on my skin it turns really gourmand and that's what happens with this fragrance as well in first few hours it smells like a very milky kind of a leather and i'm not really a big fan of it and vetiver is nowhere to be found at least on my skin that's what happens and in the far dry down like after two or three hours i would say it, it becomes like um it has this uh, very ozonic uh, vetiver kind of smell and the the the, the first time I, I i wore it um i was a bit surprised because that is what i i want i that that's that's something that i have never uh, um smelled on any fragrance before and i would have i would have wanted the whole fragrance to smell like this at least i mean the only thing that i don't really like about the fragrance is the vanilla aspect of it now if you have if we have toned down the, the vanilla a little bit on this fragrance and then you know amped up the the ozonic vetiver I'm, and i'm not really sure what is, what is giving this fragrance that ozone ozonic quality in the dry down this this is uh, this vetiver is, is uh, nothing like any vetiver that i've um, smelled because i i i'm a big fan of vetivers and i have a, i have tried a few fragr vetiver fragrances uh, like Guerlain and tom ford and whatnot rosha and whatnot but this one is a very different video very, it's a very ozonic i don't know what is giving it the ozonic uh, quality uh, because of the fragrance of the notes that i see here i don't i don't see anything maybe if, if, if is it elamai i don't know but then there's there's this um, leather thing it is always there in the in the background so it is leather is always there in the background even 
uh, when when there is this uh, ozonic wet wear uh, kind of uh, scent in the dry down there is a little bit of leather in the background but in in the, in the first few hours is which war i i feel the vanilla is a bit too much at least uh, uh, on on my skin so i would have um, i would otherwise like it's, it, I, I agree that um, the fragrance, uh, you know, needs to develop and all that. Otherwise, you get bored, right? But I'm a, I'm getting I'm getting bored of vanilla. That that is that is just a personal uh, thing. But apart from that, it's a very nice fragrance. And and I, I don't smell anything else. And bear in mind, I'm 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 still new to the fragrance game and all that. It's just been a year since I've started getting into fragrances. So my nose is uh, not. It's a bit of an immature nose, uh, I would say. Not not that. Uh, and whatever I. Whatever I get. Yeah. Oh man, it's a, it's very vanilla in, in the opening. That's something. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of. But in the dry down is my favorite part. That uh, especially in um, three or four hours into the into the fragrance dry down, that very wear is something beautiful, and it's a very unique very wear as well. There, I don't. I I've not tried any other fragrance that has this kind of ozonic. Uh, and quality at the same time, you know, there's this leather in the background. It gives some kind of a early, what do you call that? Mature, uh, badass kind of a, a feel to the fragrance. If you if you if you like uh, a leather fragrances and, and if you like leather and whatever, I think you you should try this fragrance. You would you would love it. Yes, so that's about it. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.